So from fraction to decimal fraction to decimal number and vice versa. So from decimal number to decimal fraction. A decimal number can be can be obtained from the division of an integer by ten, hundred, or thousand. These are powers of ten. Therefore, it can it could be written or it can be written as a decimal fraction. So decimal number to decimal fraction. Here we have the number of digits. Decimal digits is two. So we say that it's 237 over we have two decimal digits so we have two zeros over 100 so it's 237 over 100 so we have two digits after the period or the decimal point and then 100 in the denominator so more practice write the following decimal numbers in the form of a decimal fraction so it equals to here we have one decimal digit so we have one zero so over 10 so it's 95 over 10 big table we're doing a decimal point 95 over and we have one decimal digit so one zero 10 9.25 it equals to we have two decimal digits, so over 100, two zeros, one, two, two zeros, and we write 925 in the numerator. Here, so Bictub 9, Bictub B number without a decimal point, so it's 19,025, well, in the denominator, and you one, two, three zeros, so we have one, two, three zeros, so it's 1,000. So three decimal digits, three zeros. Another example, when we have five, so if we could try zero, 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 five, these are non-useful zeros. We say five over, how many zeros? Four, four zeros, 10,000. Also every decimal fraction represents a decimal number so we could write the decimal fraction as a decimal number here we have 4.9 sorry we have 49 over 10 so it equals to we have one zero that means one decimal digit so 4.9 here we have one two three zeros so we have to take three digits as a decimal digit and we put the point right here 1.234 so using the same way we have two zeros so we have two decimal digits and we put the point right here so 13.25 25 over 10 so we write 25 we have one zero so one decimal digit and the point is here so 2.5 and then 8562 over 1000 we have three zeros that means the three decimal digits and we put the point here 95 over 1000 so we have 95 and we have 1 2 3 so three decimal digits 1 2 8 third decimal digit and we put the point right here we should put zero here and put zero in the whole part so it's it becomes like this so a decimal writing so we have here the decimal numbers so we could write decimal numbers as decimal fractions so 0 0.7 one decimal digits so over 10 two decimal digits over 100 three decimal digits over 1000 and here we have the decimal fraction it could be written as decimal number so we have here let's take this example 456 over 100 so we have two zeros that means we have we should have two decimal digits so it's it could be written as a decimal number 4.56
a I am a decimal number my whole part is 17 so we know that the decimal number here we have the decimal point here is the whole part to the left and to the right we have the decimal part so my whole part is 17 so my whole part is 17 my decimal part is 29 so we put here 29 so it's 17.29 so we could write this decimal number as a decimal fraction so we write 1729 without the decimal point over how many zeros two decimal digits so it means two zeros so over 100 so that's it so as a summary a fraction after reduction it a over b can be written as a fraction whose denominator is power of 10 so it's a decimal fraction if a over b cannot be written as uh, its denominator cannot be written as power of 10 so it's not a decimal fraction for example here 35 over 25 we reduce this fraction by dividing it by the common divisors here we could divide by 5 and here by 5 so we have to divide by a common divisor so 35 divided by 5 is 7 25 by 5 is 5 and then 5 could be written as power of 10 so we could multiply 5 by 2 and we have to multiply 7 by 2 here we got 14 over 10 so 7 over 5 equal 14 over 10 but here we have the denominator as power of 10 so it's a so 35 over 25 is a decimal fraction and could be written as a decimal number which equals 2 we have 1.4 why we said that we have one decimal we have one zero so one decimal number one decimal part okay or one decimal digit here in the other example we have a three in the denominator so three could not be written as 10 or power of 10 so 7 over 3 it's not a decimal of a fraction so the quotient of 7 divided by 3 so it it would not be terminated so 7 divided by 3 is 2.3333 and it never ends so 35 divided by 25 it's 1.4 and the quotient is exact here 35 divided by 15 the quotient is 2.333 the quotient is not exact every decimal fraction represents a decimal number so this is a decimal fraction and could be written as a decimal number in this for we have two decimal two zeros so two decimal digits so we put the point right here so it's 0 0.14 and every decimal number can be written as a decimal fraction we have this decimal number so it could be written as 726 without the point over we have one decimal digit so one zero yani that means over 10 so like this and then another example we have here three points so it could be written as a fraction first of all without the point and we have one two three decimal digits that mean three zeros so one thousand so it becomes like this 